Hello everyone. My name is Josephine Odiana Okodua. I am a mamata year 1983 of New Era Guest College, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. It's a pleasure having to communicate to the entire staff of the school and the students. Like I said, it's a great pleasure. I'm so happy that I can use this medium to as well communicate my thoughts. Even though I was supposed to be present at the school face to face to commemorate the 40th anniversary of old students of New Era College, Benin City, Edo State. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the principal, thank the teachers, all the non-academic staff of New Era College, Benin City. I say thank you for the great job well done. And the students that are graduating this year, 2023, I say congratulations to you. You made it. It's not easy going through six years of secondary school, three years junior secondary school, and three years senior secondary school and you made it till the end i say congratulations give yourself a plus you deserve it like i said my name i don't know if i introduced myself properly my name is josephine odiana while i was still at the school that's my maiden name. I'm Mrs. Okodua. I'm based in Canada with my family. I have four children, married. I'm a registered nurse in Canada. I've served in Nigeria in the banking industry. I attended University of Lagos studied business administration, had my BSc in business administration. I moved to Canada 2010 with my family. I had to go back to school to do nursing. I did it successfully and I'm practicing as a nurse. I just said this because I want to introduce you to the advice that I have for the graduating student 2023. Some of us are very fortunate. We came from affluent home. Our parents can afford our education. And some of us are not that privileged to come from a fluent home where by our education can be taken care of to higher level. To so this group of students, I'm encouraging you because I was in that category. My dad wasn't privileged 
wasn't fortunate to be able to sponsor my education. I had to work to train myself through university level. I got married, had my children, I was still schooling, I was working. I got all I desired to achieve academically, trying to sponsor myself. I never compromised, I never sell my body. I never gave up my body cheaply to get money to go to school. I worked hard. So I'm encouraging this category of students to trust and believe in yourself. Know that you can make it to any level you desire to get to academically because education is the key to success. It's a challenging period, it's a challenging moment, but trust me, you're gonna make it. I was actually supposed to come personally to meet with you face to face, celebrate my 40th anniversary as old student of New Era Girls College with you guys. Unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm unable to make it. I'd already set down plans on what and what to do, the program. I communicated with my younger sister in Nigeria. She's just very much like me. She'll be representing me because I still hope to do something, just something small, just to mark it. I tried to collaborate with my other old students, but unfortunately, it's difficult communicating with them. And I believe there are other group of old student association that has been performing and been doing great job all this while to get the school to the level the school is today. Knowing fully well that government alone cannot give the school the standard it had when we were there. We enjoyed sound education. We enjoyed good facility. We enjoyed a lot of amenities when we were still there. Unfortunately, when I visited two years ago, what I saw wasn't that pleasant. Though there is a new building there, but I was told the building wasn't opened for usage at, at that time. And I was pissed off because I was upset. Why would this beautiful building be available and students are not using it? And what I saw that the students are using wasn't encouraging. I had to go to my platform on Facebook and I posted what I saw and I communicated just to get government attention to see if government can do something because I know all students may have been doing a lot, but they can do more than what they've done. So my dear friends, my dear old, my dear students, graduating students, I really appreciate you. I congratulate you that you made it till the end. It's not easy. It's not easy. And I thank the teachers, I thank the principal, the non-academic staff. I thank every one of you for all that you have been doing. I still hope to do something. My younger sister, like I said, will be coming to organize a program and give some small gifts just to mark the anniversary, his 40th anniversary. Yes. So my dear, beautiful, pretty student, I thank you so much 
for making it and thank you for all that you have done to achieve what you have achieved today and those who have written your YEG, I trust you're going to come out in flying colors and I introduce you into the world. It's a sweet world, although it has a lot of, hmm, yeah, but I believe you can make it. Yes. One piece of advice I have for you is just to stay focused. Stay focused. When you know what you want from life, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Yes. You have the ability. You have the strength. And the school had given you the tools you require to launch yourself into the world and make impacts and fulfill your purpose. Yes. Just stay focused. Focus is all that is needed to achieve what you want to achieve and you will make it. You will get there. Okay? Beautiful girls, I love you all and we'll meet again in Jesus' name. Stay blessed and be a good girl. Okay? Thank you, principal. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, non-academic staff. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, all those who are going to be representing me and getting the job done perfectly well. Okay? Have a pleasant time and stay blessed. Bye. Bye-bye.